Hello, friends from the comic book worlds. My name is G. And I'm Hector. And we're here to talk about the October 21st, 2024 FOC. Hector and I, we work for our Penguin Random House. The titles that we'll talk about today are those that we can sell internationally. Uh, aside from this YouTube channel, we're also on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter X at PRH International Comics, where you'll see our updates, news, and posts on there. So definitely check us out on those other platforms. So we'll begin with our picks. And first up is actually me which is mm -hmm. a very long title, but it could be longer. <laughs> yeah. uh, Love True. Advice from the Great Duke of Hell, Volume 1. This is from uh, Webtoon Unscrolled. The creator is Unfins. And this one, uh, we have a situation the main character is dealing with. The girl of his dreams does not know he exists. <laughs> That's the situation. Uh, friends can't help family i mean what are they gonna do about it and then so mm. who are you going to turn for love advice um who can help with this big problem that you're dealing with so an average teenager named paul summons a powerful demon from the deep recesses of hell and hoping for the best so this demon in question is duke um uh, asroth who's the uh uh, basically the ruler of the 30 legions of bloodthirsty hell creatures is maybe <laughs> i don't know if that was the right demon to call but anyway it happened uh and so uh the duke stands ready to claim paul's soul in less than a week no matter how silly the bargain is because that's the bargain here and um paul's magic accidentally act alerts the holy order because apparently this is not the right way to utilize powers for your own good um so the holy order is basically a group dedicated to protecting the world from the forces of evil and something internal is weirdly happening here um but who said love is ever easy uh so this volume collects season one part one of the webtoon comic um so you can expect this coming out in november yep and we continue with one of my uh cover picks for this week in this christmas 365 number one this is the cover a this is by Piotr. Kowalski, who's also the illustrator of this book. Now, first, let's talk about this book. It's, uh, you know, just in time for the holidays, a Christmas kind of story. Uh, I'm not going to, there's not much information on it, really, but it's really a story about this, this guy who uh, follows the advice of a Santa Claus in a, a, lo a local mall to, and to hatch a plan to, you know, have the best Christmas ever with his family uh, but by this cover uh, we realize we see that it's not something normal because they're decorating their tree uh first of all it's on fire and they're like no problem and second of all why are they bringing out uh, like halloween and st patrick's uh decorations for this tree i don't know but it intrigues me a lot this is uh written by mikey way and jonathan rivera mikey way bases player for My Chemical Romance and brother of Gerard Way. And Jonathan Rivera actually has worked with both of them. He's a artist, writer, uh, director, and art director. And he has worked in uh, some of their videos. And I mean, there's, I realized by researching that there's a, a, you know, friendship there with Mikey Way, probably. And then, like I said, illustrated by Piotr uh, Kowalski, who you've, um, I think we talked about, yes, we definitely talked about Piotr here before. He's a Polish uh, artist who is um, also the illustrator for Where Monsters Lie, which we have talked about a couple of times, mm -hmm. uh, both the first and the second uh, story for that art, for that one. So uh, very cool. I, I really love the art on this, but uh, and I love the art of where the monsters lie. So I know I'm going to love the art inside of this comic. So uh, but I definitely want to find out what the heck is going on with this family and their flaming three. Yep. All right. My next pick 
it is Amazing Spider-Man issue number 62. Um, this is the Scotty Young Eight Deaths of Spider-Man variant, and we have Joe Kelly and Ed McGinnis as the creative team for Eight Deaths. Um, it starts, it begins in issue 61, um, so if you haven't picked that up, you should. Um, so to celebrate this, like, a uh, new Spidey epic. Um, we have Scotty Young um, delivering these iconic variant covers, which is basically Waste to Kill a Spider, which is really <laughs> awesome. So if you haven't seen it, um, it's also on Marvel.com. Um, you can see the the variants that are already revealed. Um, so definitely keep your eyes peeled for more of the Scotty Young eight deaths of Spider Man variants because um, they're really fun uh, to. They're just really fun covers uh, to pick up. Yes. Here we continue with Cyberpunk 2077 pick down number four. This is the cover C by Andre Araujo, Andre Lima Araujo. And uh, this is uh, written by Toma Tomas Marchuca and illustrated by Jake Elpick. <laughs> And this continues, you know, the stories, the amazing stories by uh, from the cyberpunk uh, world, which if you don't know, but you should, that it's based out of a video game. And then it, there's a lot of media around it, including already now a lot of comics and also a very successful animated show um, that was uh, that's on Netflix and people are waiting for the second season. And it's a big, huge world, lots of stories and a lot of characters around it. So I really like how they go through all that. And that takes me into this cover because there's a lot of really cool covers whenever the cyberpunk comic books are out. Uh, this one is no exception. The other three covers on this book are amazing too. But this one just gave me that post-apocalyptic, sort of futuristic, well, it's not post-apocalyptic, no, but it's futuristic kind of messed up world of cyberpunk but it also gives me sort of a mad max <laughs> sort of vibe with the car and the long road into the city and 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 um i don't know there's something about this uh cover the art and how beautiful and yellow it is that it really drew me in um and um yeah and andres araujo's art is always amazing and as you can tell by this cover so there you go my next pick is Uncanny X-Men issue number six, the Dave Marquez cover. So uh, I just, it's like, welcome, new students. And you could tell that yeah. they're unimpressed, but then there's weapons just like sticking out of the chalkboard as if like mm -hmm. a whole bunch of people just threw it at them and they're like, huh, whatever. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, it's fine. <laughs> And then yeah. some of them look like happy, bored, like disinterested. You can see so much personality in these characters and yeah. their facial expressions uh, just from uh, the art itself. Um, so moving from left to right, we have Calico, we have Jitter, Ransom, and Death Dream um, as these students. I love the apple holding. <laughs> I know the goody two shoes bringing an apple. <laughs> Bring in an apple. <laughs> That's awesome. I love this cover yeah. so much. So yeah. Yeah, it's so good. And next up is Mystique number two. This is the Franny Mystique variant. And as you can see, there's a trade dress one and there's a version version on the right. Oh, uh, it's so good. And I, I believe the virgin version is uh retail incentive but uh yeah, yes I, gotta look I think it. so yeah anyways but uh franny is the amazing filipino oh, artist one in, one in 50 just sorry for interrupting. one in 50 okay yeah. thank you thank you um first actually first i should mention this is the amazing um you know new uh solo sh um story by a form mystic by declan shalvey he does the um, writing and illustrating, but this is such a cool, cool, cool illustration by Franny. Like I said, she's a Filipino amazing artist. If you don't know her, she is, has done so many cool um, 
covers and illustration. You really should follow her. She's all over uh, the internet with her art. Um, there's also this on this FOC uh, for the sixth issue, I believe, of NYX. There's also a cover by Franny. Also very, very, very cool. But I, it was hard for me to pick one, but this one won over. Um, well, mainly because it's Mystique, but also because it's so cool. Also, as I was researching, and I think it is true because I, you know, I look and I look, I think these, this and the Nyx are the first covers that Franny has done for Marvel. She's done covers for almost, I think, pretty much every other publisher, at least all the major ones are there. But this is the first time she's done covers for Marvel. So that's also a big deal uh, and something to uh, think about for sure. So very cool, very excited about this one. Yes. And then we have a cute piece of news. <laughs> very cute. Yeah. We have the Little Witcher. Uh, this is in collaboration with CD Projekt Red and uh, Random House Worlds. And we have it um, uh, illustrated by Giada Carbani. So this is putting a twist on the Witcher really focusing on the family life, a delightful collection uh, featuring Gerard as your average monster slaying dad, trying to raise young <laughs> Siri to be a good kid while teaching her all about the life as a witcher. So it's like a perfect gift for um, parents, but also for anyone of all ages. Um, it's like a family friendly uh, Witcher title to pick up. And so, yeah, uh, really cute. Um, and it's just adorable. <laughs> How can you yeah. not look, look at the cover? The cover is really cute. <laughs> very, very uh, cool. So, yeah, keep an eye out on this one. This is uh, coming uh, in 2025. So, yes. And that's it for uh, this FOC and our highlights, our news. Um, as always, Hector and I, we really enjoy doing these. So come back for more uh, week after week as we'll uh, post more videos. Uh, and as always, again, check out our um, social media uh, sites linked below. And yeah, that's it for today. Bye, everyone. Bye.